What's up, YouTube? I am back with another video. Today, I am sharing my thoughts on all the police officers that's, that have been killing innocent black people, black African Americans, is now quitting their jobs or calling in sick and whatnot. Now that charges are getting brought up against them. And I want to share my thoughts on that. Me, personally, this is, this is funny. This is funny. You know, the ones that supposed to protect us is now running they got the balls the guts to pull that trigger but they're not man enough or grown enough to stand up to the consequences of their actions to me that's funny that's funny that's funny it's on the way i don't know if it's out of fear of their life fear for their family or whatever or not because out of fear for your family you're not gonna quit your job or call in sick you know um I'm not talking about no one way. I'm not talking about no one in particular situation. I'm talking about all. You know, it's been popping up a lot in the media lately that cops are quitting their jobs and 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 and, and calling in shit like the uh like the one that did the shooting in Atlanta. Shot the man in the back when he turned around and pointed a taser at him, you know? Called in sick. You know what I mean? I think that's I think that's sad. That's sad. You got nothing to do to you got nothing to do the crime, but you ain't got the balls to do the time. You ain't got the balls to face the consequences for it. You know that that's that's usual nonsense. You know that's usual nonsense. You know what I mean? That's usual nonsense. But you no, know, hopefully his his chief or whoever he, he answered to in the police for for us would say, hey, you called in sick. Make sure you bring that doctor's note. Make sure you get a doctor's note. You know, because I know if I do, I call in sick. That what my job gonna tell me. And I'm pretty sure with, with that officer making more, a lot more money than what I made, I, I hope, his, hope his consequences is, is really high up there. You know what I mean? Because I know if I, if I call in sick and don't come in with a doctor's note or anything, I'm, I'm basically going to get terminated. They're going to they gonna assume that I lied. You know, so I hope hopefully he get the same kind of treatment, if not worse. You know? And I, I just want to say to all the officers out there calling in sick and quitting the force, was it worth it? Was it worth it? Was it worth you taking somebody's out of life? Hmm? Cause you quit, that mean you finna lose, that mean you finna lose everything. That mean you ain't gonna get no benefits. So all the years you don't put in on the force, all that going down the drain cause you quit. That's, you know what I mean? Cause you quit. That's that's a sign, that's, that's, that's a sign of, that's a sign of being guilty. Cause why would you quit your job? Why would you call in, why would you call in sick? That's a sign, that's, that's, that's you admitting that you was wrong. Cause if you know you did you did nothing wrong, you you're not gonna quit your job. You're not gonna call in sick. You can come get that money. You can come get that money for the good benefit. Cause I know you're making decent money, you know. And now and all y'all on the run. Now you now you quitting, calling in sick. That's just gonna get that gonna, that mean you gonna you gonna quit with nothing. Unless you got a a, a nice lump sum in the bank. But as far as your 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 benefit, you're not gonna get under. You probably get you still gonna get your 401k. Whatever, whatever you invested in, whatever your job invested in you, that's it. But as far as your, ret your retirement and all that, that's a lot to walk away from. That's a lot to walk away from, man. So what's really going on? Are that, is, that the, is that the officer's ways of saying they're, they're, they're guilty? That they was wrong by quitting the force? You know? Regardless of the matter, not gonna make us feel no better about y'all. You know, cause like I said in my last video about all this, I'm looking at all police's badges like y'all just like the world look at every black man as a criminal, you know? So when y'all change y'all thinking and way of doing things is when America is when America changed their way of thinking and doing things. It's, it gotta be a it gotta be an even street. You know what I mean? It gotta be an even street. It's, I hate to say it like that, but that's just what it is. It has to be an even street. If it can't be an even street, then nothing's gonna get done, you know? But that's how I'm taking it. They they quitting the force and Calling in sick, that's that's a sign of guilt. That guilt sinking in now. That guilt sinking in. Your wife fussing at you, your kids worried, they stressing and fussing at you and catching attitudes and don't really understand what's going on. All that pressure's getting applied now. Like Ply said, the right amount of pressure will bust a pipe. Them pipes getting bust now. Them pipes are getting bust now. Your family probably fearful. They like they probably don't want to go to work, don't want to go take the kids to school. The kids probably don't want to go to school. All that, all that coming down on you because of the choice you made. That's what I call a domino effect. You pull, you pull that trigger and kill the innocent person, that started a domino effect in your life now. Hmm? That started a big domino effect in your life. Your friends and family probably don't want nothing to do with you no more or, or feel their life in jeopardy because of 
one bad, one wrong decision that you made. Yeah. How does it feel to be on the other side? How does it feel to be in my world now? How does it feel to be in, in the world of a criminal now? Yeah. These are things that criminals go through every day. That they deal with every day. You know what I mean? Welcome to welcome to that world, man. Welcome to that world, man. You know? Welcome to that world. But that's how I'm taking that y'all quitting your job, quitting the force and whatnot. I'm taking it as a sign of you being guilty. What else can it be? Why would you call in work? That's bill money you're losing. Unless you got a bit long some money in the bank. When I say a bit long some money, a good 20, 30 grand, that's the only reason I would see the quit a job without an explanation. Or you probably gave your your chief or whoever you answer to in your job a, a, a explanation, but they don't want to reveal that explanation to the media. But it, you know, everything in dark gonna come to light, man. Every, it, I'm pretty sure it'll come out eventually. And when it do, I want to be there to laugh. Cause I'm, Cause when I see it on Facebook, when I see it on the news, I'm gonna do another video and talk more trash. Talk more trash. I'm glad that guilt sitting in on you. I'm glad that guilt sitting. I hope that every, I hope every cop that killed an innocent black person, I hope every time you close your eyes, you see their face. Hmm? I hope every time your wife, your kids, your family, your friends talk to you about it, you feel more and more guilty to the point where you blow your own brains out. That's how I feel. That's how I feel about all of it. Anybody that don't like this, you can go ahead and unfollow me. You go, you can go ahead and unsubscribe from my channel. No big deal. I mean, my, my subscribers ain't that high as it is. You know, it ain't that high as it is. I mean, I'm not gonna lose nothing. You know, because as I already see, I'm not gonna lose nothing on YouTube, but that's how I really feel. You took an innocent life, you go in your house, take, take your issue, pull his gun, that same gun that you pulled the trigger on to kill the kill the innocent people, the innocent African American people, go in there and, and go on live and just boom, in it. Put the gun in your mouth and pull that trigger. Hmm. Hmm. Then that be one less, one less, one less bad officer we gotta worry about in the world. Hmm. That's how I feel about the whole situation. You know. That's how I feel the whole situation. That blow your own brains out. Say your family some pain. Say your family some stress. Say your children some stress and frustration. Hmm. You know, cause I already said I already know. I, say them some frustration. Say your family and friends some some problems in life. Some frustration, some stress. And just blow your own brains out. Hmm? Blow your own blow your own head off. Hmm? Saying what you did to the innocent people. That show that that show no threat to you. Just blow your own head off. Take that, take that gun and just just dump it in your set. Just, just boom, 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 keep pulling that trigger till you can't pull it no more. Till your body just pause. You know what I mean? You give yourself the same faith that you gave them innocent people. As you gave them innocent people, my brothers and sisters. Get get them. Give your give your body that same treatment. Hmm? But don't forget what goes around comes around. Cause there's not one thing you gotta answer to is that man upstairs, that all seeing man upstairs known as Jesus Christ, the Alpha and Omega. You still gotta answer to him. You still gotta answer to him. But do us all a favor while you quit your job. Don't don't quit. Don't blow your head, blow your own head or kill yourself. Kill yourself. You know what I mean? Kill yourself, cause you, I'm pretty sure you're gonna regret this for a long time through your family, your friends, your own thoughts. Hmm? Your own thoughts when you come into work every day, when you leave your house, I hope somebody make you regret it every day till you blow your own head out, till you blow your own brains out. I really, that's my prayer. That's my prayer by all means necessary. You took an innocent life, take your, had, had a guts to take your own life, had the balls to kill yourself. That's what you can do. Had the guts to kill yourself. Blow your own head off. But you ain't got the guts to do that. So that's how I'm taking all these police quitting the force. You're guilty. You're guilty. That's all I have to say on this issue. So if you like this video, take the time to subscribe, like, comment, and share. Hit that post bell notification. If you don't, take the time to go through my mini playlist and find a video that you do like and watch it to the and watch it. And take the time to subscribe, like, comment, and share. And hit post notification. For a shout out in my shout out video the last Sunday in June, y'all tell me how you feel about this situation. All these police officers now quitting the force. Every a lot of police officers that had something to do with a murder of an innocent black person is now quitting the force and calling in sick and whatnot on their on their on the job. How do y'all feel about it? How do, how are y'all taking that? What did what does that mean to you? How do you take that? What kind of sign is that telling you? And I will give you a comment in my next um my last Sunday in June shout out video, you know. I put a lot of videos on hold and made it get these out the way. I got a couple more to do. 
got some interesting content coming, man. Y'all look forward, you know? Y'all look forward. I'm trying to grow my channel more as it is, because it's at a slow motion right now.